Clive, this is the IAMCO Smart 320 bar feed. I know they're really pushing sort of the longer bar feeds into the UK market. So a great example of, sort of entry level through to the high specification machines. So where does this one sit? This is the designed to be an entry level bar feeder for fixed and sliding head up to 20 mil capacity. So being an entry level, it doesn't have exactly the same design as far as the, the more rigid bar feeders above, but the, the actual rigidity is not so important on the 20 mil machine. Okay. When you say 20 mil, what does it go from and so from? So it goes from three millimeters to 20 millimeters this model. Okay, so in turn, that, that size and no concerns regarding the rigidity? No, 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 none whatsoever, if you can say that. Um, this is, comes in two models, one three meter and one four meter. Uh, and so the, the actual beam is more fabricated rather than being a, a rigid steel beam. Now you mentioned entry level, so it might be a good way for engineers who are unsure about the longer uh, bar feeds. A great opportunity for them to get into the market? Yeah, absolutely. The sliding head market, you know, they, they do exactly the same as any other market. If a customer's budget's not what it is, they build an entry level machine. So the entry level machine has limitations, but the bar feeder suits that entry level. What about controls of the machine? Yeah, the control is a standard handheld unit, but you can have a touch screen, which just simply bolt, uh, plugs straight in. And so with a whole range of bar feeders now, that, that's the, the case with the plug-in touch screen. Okay, in terms of machines, it will fit to any machine essentially? Yeah, any machine, uh, obviously in 20 mil capacity, but any sliding head or fixed head uh, machine. Yeah. You mentioned construction machine in terms of fabrication. What about the internals? Yeah, the internals follows the, the same design as all the other bar fittings, so all fed channels, uh, so there's no compromise on quality at all. Yeah, that I think was key to an engineer buying a machine. They want to know that, that quality, no compromise there. Absolutely right. Even at entry level, the quality for any vibration or any bars to be used on here, whether it be shape bar or round bar, is, there's no compromise at all. Okay. Great insight into the Smart 320. Can you give me just a quick summary then, please? So the quick summary is it's an entry-level machine for entry-level uh, sliding heads or fixed heads, 20 mil capacity down to 3 mil. Uh, you cannot extend the capacity. You cannot do any like you can with the other bar fitters. So therefore, you are slightly limited, but it is that entry-level budget machine. Clive, thank you. Thank you.